yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. I'm Joe Horowitz, the Executive Director of Post Classical Ensemble, and that was Franklin Delano Roosevelt's famous declaration of war on Japan. One of the people who heard that speech was the composer Arnold Schoenberg in Los Angeles. Schoenberg was a refugee from Hitler's Germany, and he responded with one of the most stirring musical reactions to a world event ever conceived. Schoenberg's composition is the Ode to Napoleon for narrator, string quartet, and piano. What he's doing is setting Lord Byron's Ode to Napoleon, which is a poem that begins with a titanic expression of rage against Napoleon and ends with an exalted apostrophe to George Washington. You may think of Schoenberg as an esoteric composer, but there's nothing esoteric about this piece, which invariably ignites a standing ovation in performance. The last four words of the Ode to Napoleon are, there was but one. And what Byron is telling us is that in the annals of recorded world history, there was one military victor who, upon assuming political power, did not abuse it. And that was the great George Washington. Schoenberg, reading this poem, of course, is not thinking Napoleon and Washington, he's thinking Hitler and FDR. The supreme exponent of Schoenberg's Ode to Napoleon today is the baritone William Sharp. And we're thrilled to have Bill Sharp with us to perform the Ode to Napoleon December 7 at the National Cathedral as part of a program called Music in Wartime. I'd like to share with you the closing moments of William Sharp's performance of the Ode to Napoleon this past summer at the Brevard Music Festival. You can hear for yourself how an audience new to this work reacted to Arnold Schoenberg's galvanizing response to Franklin Delano Roosevelt's declaration of war on the empire of Japan. Yes. One. The first, the last, the best, the sincere artists of the West who envy, dare not hate. <laughs> 